on this hunt, Chris is running the camera. Lisa is gonna be the guide. She's been scouting this turkey out for, for Mallory Mashburn. Uh, she's uh, one of Blair Batson's miracle childs. And she told Chris and Lisa that her lifelong dream is to kill a turkey. And Lisa, I think, scouted this turkey for about two or three weeks. And she basically got him down pat, put the blind up, set it up, and told them, you know, when they were, what weekend they needed to come after she got the pattern down on this turkey. And they got an early start. Uh, they went by the store, I think, first, got a little coffee, got to wake up. I think Mallory was a little, a little tired, not ready, to, not ready to go. She had a long day the day before. They had a hunt the day before, and they got close, but they didn't seal the deal. But this one was just amazing hunt. I mean, it's just crazy how they, uh, I think they had about a two and a half hour hunt. The turkey kept circling, circling the blind. I mean, it's just amazing how long that she had the, the patience to wait and just be still. Even though you're in the blind, they still had to be still. Uh, her daddy, Gene, was in the blind with them. And it was just crazy hunt. And they, the turkey was out there so long, they actually were running out of battery and footage so they had to turn the camera off and video when they could. So every now and again, you'll see it cut back and forth. And they actually didn't get to talk too much after they shot the turkey. It was completely, the battery was completely dead. Um, but um, it was an amazing hunt. Next year, Mallory's gonna get a chance of a lifetime, like most turkey hunters always want to do. They want to have an opportunity to kill a Grand Slam. And next year, we're gonna try to get Mallory's Grand Slam in one turkey season. Most people don't get to do it in a lifetime, and we're gonna to try to do it with her one season. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a goal of mine, and I still haven't even got close to it yet. All I've got is the Eastern, and we're gonna try to get all four next year in one turkey season. So it's gonna be fun, and we, uh, like I said, we we're working hard to get ready for it now, and she's fired up about it. So if y'all see her uh, at the wildlife trap games, or ask her about it, or she's probably gonna tell you about it. You're probably not gonna to have to ask her about it. She's She's fired up and I'm fired up for her. I'm gonna be the, uh, the cameraman on, the, on all the trips and I'm gonna do a little calling for her. So uh, like I said, I'm, I'm ready, I'm pumped up for her. Like I said, if, I feel like if, if she can do it and I can watch her do it, I mean, it's, it's gonna mean a lot more to me for her to do it and me get to be there and watch and video and just see it all happen than for me to do it. I mean, it's, it's gonna be amazing. I hope it happens. I mean, it's gonna be some hard work. We've got some work ahead of us, but I think we can do it. She's a she's a pretty hard little hunter. She's pretty consistent. I mean, she'll she'll get up every morning at four o'clock and she'll go after it. So we're gonna see. Y'all stay tuned and check this one out. It's a pretty amazing hunt. It's fun. How are you? Good morning. Oh, you look rough this morning. You know that? Talk to him. You look I, rough this I morning. I look rough. Let's go turkey hunting. Okay. You're a little shy this morning. You run your mouth all night last night and didn't sleep. Now you're going to be shy? Yeah, okay. You show right. mama's hat? Huh? Show mama's hat. Tell him whose hat that is. This is my mama's hat. Is that your mama's hat? Where'd you get that? Tell him where you got it. I got it from Chris. <laughs> uh, you ain't awake, are you, sweetie? Let's go get a cup of coffee. Yes. Turkey hunting, Mallory. Alright. You ready to go turkey hunting?
Girl. Oh. Look at you in the head. Awesome. It's down. Awesome. Come on, come on, come on. Well, Mallory. Then the fucking nose. We have gotten a <laughs> we've gotten a done deal here. Oh. Mallory got her bird. But we were just gonna talk about how it took me a little bit to get out of the ground blind. I was so excited. Uh, hyped up from just uh, basically meltdown, huh, Mallory? I couldn't get my legs to move. Finally got out of the deer, out, out of the ground um, blind. Chris's leg fell asleep. Yeah, Chris's leg fell asleep over there. My leg was shaking. <laughs> we had to sit and wait a long time for we, that bird to come in. We flew down it? right about 7:15, and it was nine o'clock before Mallory killed this bird. He stayed within 25 yards out from what we wanted. Finally came in to about 30. What well, seemed like a forever. Yeah, it's about a two hour deal, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Back and forth, strutting yeah. all yeah. all morning long. Mallory's patience, your patience was yeah. just we unreal. Know, we really learned a lesson in patience. But well, what did I tell you? I told you earlier. God can brings get, good things to get. those who wait, and that's what we did. Mm. We waited, we were patient. I know everybody was tired. Um, I think my back just, <laughs> after it was all over with. But, um, it, it's pretty, it was pretty stressful on you, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I worked uh, two weeks with this bird. Um, I went in, he never gobbled. This was the first morning that I ever heard him gobble. Um, I've seen him three times. He flew out down right along the edge of this field. A couple of times he was right on me before I even knew it. Um, I'd been in there three or four times and I'd like to thank uh, the landowner for letting us go in and be able to use his property. Um, we hunted property in North Walthall County the property has not been hunted for turkeys in a while. And uh, there was absolutely no pressure on this bird, but he made us work for him. Yeah, he, 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 he did indeed. He, he, he made he Chris was so going, mad. Yep, he wasn't going down without a fight, and he milked it for everything it was worth. And he went down at the end. Um, I think he had a strut line, gosh, too far out, just back and forth back and forth, uh, spitting and drumming, which y'all saw in the Don't video. The, um, oh. Well, did you ever think you were going to get to pull the trigger on him this morning? Don't get no Jake. Yeah, we had, we had some Jake decoys out there, no. but he had two hands Nathan. with him. No. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Lisa, look, do, do me a favor. T tell us about the organization that you uh, that you volunteer for and you're the secretary of and everything. Tell us a little bit about the organization. Why, why, uh, why do you, uh, why do you uh, volunteer your time to this organization? You're going to make me cry, Chris. <laughs> um, been with Woods, Wheels, and Water Outdoors since 07 as secretary. Um, I do it because... It makes me feel good. Um, I had asked God to have me involved in something bigger than me after my daughter's four-wheeler accident. And I didn't know Chris at the time other than just by word of mouth. Uh, we met at a um, Appaloosa Horse Show. We were in the same Appaloosa Horse Club together. He started talking about hunting and fishing in this organization that he had started in 06 up at the, the Dixie National Horse Show. 